In this example problem, we're going to find the coordinates for a point along a horizontal curve. Our problem statement tells us that the back tangent for a horizontal curve has a bearing of north, 40 degrees west. The point of curvature for this curve is located at station 238 plus 12.88 and has been assigned the coordinates with a northing of 10,000 and an easting of 10,000. The curve has a radius of 2,000 feet and a delta of 25 degrees to the left. Given this information, we're asked to determine the coordinates of the center line at station 244. It's important to start with a drawing. This will help make sure that we understand what we're given. So we start with our back tangent here. It has a bearing of north 40 degrees west. And then our forward tangent deflects from that at 25 degrees. We are told that the PC has a station of 238 plus 12.88, and it is assigned coordinates of 10,000, 10,000. We can determine where this curve is located. So we have a simple arc of a curve that connects the PC and the PT. We can determine that length with our equation radius times delta times pi over 180. So 2,000 feet times 25 degrees times pi over 180 gives us a length of 872.66 feet. Therefore, our PT station is 238 plus 12.88, that's the station of our PC, plus that length of the curve, 872.66, for a station of 246 plus 85.54. Our point of interest is station 244, so this means that our point of interest is on the curve, and this is a very important detail in solving this problem, that our point of interest is on the curve. If it was off the curve, then we would need to use a different process and a more simple process, actually, to solve this problem. We can solve for lowercase l1. And what we're actually going to need to do is rearrange this to solve for lowercase delta 1. And this is going to be the portion of the curve to our point of interest at station 244. So we're going to plug in our values here for the length from the PC to our point of interest. That's on the numerator. In the denominator, we're going to put in the radius, 2,000 feet, times our delta, 25 degrees, times pi, divided by 180 and we find lowercase delta of 0.67279. And again, that's the portion of the curve between the PC and our point of interest relative to L. So this is a proportion. So roughly two thirds of the curve is present until you get to, when you reach our point of interest at station 244. So we're about two thirds of the way through the curve for this particular point of interest. So the delta to our point of interest is 25 degrees times that proportion, 0.67279, and that's 16.82 degrees. We can now find the chord length from the PC to our point of interest, and that's 2 times the radius times sine of lowercase delta 1 divided by 2. So that's 2 times 2,000 feet times the sine of 16.82 degrees divided by 2, and that's a chord length of 585.02 feet. And it's, important, it's an important value for our calculation. Anytime we're dealing with coordinates, we usually want to look for a triangle that we can draw. We're going to look for a hypotenuse and then find our component that's the northing and southing component, and then the easting component looking at moving left to right. So we're going to draw in our hypotenuse, that's the chord length, 585.02 feet. We can now find the angle of turn, so for this angle it's 40 degrees, that's the angle of our original bearing, plus half of that angle to our point of interest, the 16.82 degrees divided by 2. So we come up with that angle of 48.41 degrees. So starting over now with just our triangle, we have our hypotenuse, 
585.02 feet, and the angle 40 degrees plus 16.82 degrees divided by 2, so 48.41 degrees. So now we're looking for our XY components here. So the change in northing is 585.02 times the cosine of the angle that we found, 48.41 degrees. And that gives us a change in northing of 388.33. The change in easting, so now we're looking left to right, that X component, 585.02 times the sine of 48.41 degrees gives us a change in easting of 437.54. And it's important to recognize the convention. So for northings, north is always positive, south is negative. For eastings, east is positive, west is negative. So in this case, we move to the north and to the west. So the north component is gonna be positive and the west component is gonna be negative. So at our station 244, the northing is going to be 10,000 plus our distance in the northing direction, 388.33, gives us a coordinate of 10,388.33. And for our easting, it's 10,000 minus, because we're going west, 437.54, gives us an easting coordinate of 9,562.46.